Hey everyone, so I know it's been a while. I have Miss Callie right here with me. Callie, look up there. Hi. And we are here to show you a highly requested polymer clay tutorial. Right. You need to move a second, because I gotta show them. I transported some polymer clay mushrooms out in this M&M's container that I got from a block sale. I'll have the haul up soon. Anywho, I'm teaching you guys how to make these guys polymer clay mushroom. Voila! Also, very soon I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make a juice pouch lunch bag. So here's something you have to look forward to in the near future. First and most importantly, you'll need some oven baked clay. I usually use Sculpey 3 and it will have baking instructions right on the package and do not bake it in the microwave. I have two different types of mushrooms. This is a glow in the dark one made of Fimo and then this is a tie dye mushroom. Starting with the tie-dye, a lot of you have asked me how I make tie-dye, and what I do is I take a bunch of little pieces of different colored clay, then I roll them into a ball, then you can just like mush it around, mess around with it until you like how it looks. There will never be a time where you get the same exact effect, because this is pretty random. Another thing you can do after you roll it out is just twist it, and I ended up with something like this. To make a stem, roll out a piece of clay into a ball, then put it down on a flat surface and shape it. Go ahead and roll it out, make sure the bottom of it's flat, and make it taller than you actually want it to be, because when you put the top of the mushroom on there, it's going to flatten it out a lot. Take a piece of your tie-dye, roll it out, then just kind of shape it. You can squeeze the sides out a little to make it wider. Once you have the top out, you want to go ahead and just push it on to the stem. Make sure it's stuck on really well. To make sure it's stuck on really well, you can push down the top of the stem and you can even smooth it and blend it in to make sure it's more secure. And since mushrooms in nature generally aren't perfectly round, you can add little indents to the sides like this. For the spotted mushroom, do the stem the exact same way. But for the top of these, I make them more rounded. I just kind of keep it this shape. Bring the sides out a little bit. Then by taking a tool or using your fingernails or whatever you want, you can go ahead and add little slits around the edges. So that's what it looks like. Stick that onto the stem and push down. Then I put little tiny lines into the bottom just to make it look more realistic. Finally, you can choose to add spots if you wish. Roll out very tiny pieces of clay, squish them on, and there you have it. If you want to make your mushroom into a charm, go to your local craft store and find some eye pins or head pins in the jewelry making aisle. They're metal findings, and all you would have to do is just cut it to size and stick it in the top. And then you can add a jump ring and add it to jewelry, or add it to a key ring, or anything that you want. Thank you guys so much for watching, Kaylee says, and me. We hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and take a look at our links in the down bar. Subscribe to, well, it's my channel, but sometimes she sneaks in the videos and talking for a cat. And, and you guys have a great rest of the day. <laughs> you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Bye. Say bye. Also, coming soon, I have something you can't see because of the brightness. What the heck? And she's got her claws.